வணக்கம் ஆஃப்டர் த வெரி சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் சீரீஸ் ஆன் பிரேக்கில் ஃப்ளெக்ஸஸ் சர்ஜரி லோக்கல் ஃப்ளாப்ஸ் இன் ரீகன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஃப்ளெக்ஸா டெண்டன் ரிப்பேர் அண்ட் ரீகன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் திஸ் சேனல் ப்ரௌட்லி அனவுன்சஸ் த நெக்ஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் ஆன் நர்வ் ரிப்பேர் அண்ட் ரீகன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் பிஃபோர் வி சி த டாபிக்ஸ் தட் ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் in this series please click to subscribe to stay connected and receive updates on the latest modules and sessions we shall now see under nerve repair and reconstruction the different sessions and the discussions in each session we shall be starting of course with the basics the session 1 on anatomy of the nerve where we will discuss not only the structural anatomy but also the functional and surgical anatomy followed up by the physiology of nerve conduction in the second session where we will discuss how the action potentials develop and why it is important to understand this from the surgical standpoint in session 3 we shall see the general examination of nerve problems like how to check the motor function how to check the sensation accurately and how to check the autonomic function session 4 will be on emg and imaging where we will clarify certain points like what investigations to ask for when we are faced with a patient with a nerve injury what does an emg measure what is a nerve conduction study and when the patient comes back with the nerve conduction study report how to interpret it and how will the plan of management be influenced by the report the session on nerve injury and healing will deal with the different grades of nerve injury or involvement and does healing occur when no treatment is given how does the nerve heal after repair and how does the nerve heal when a nerve grafting has been done then we go on to the techniques of nerve repair and grafting where we talk about the nitty gritty of nerve repair in a situation with a clean cut of the nerve how do we repair it and what suture material do we use and what technique if there are ragged edges to the cut nerve what do we do and if there is a neuroma and a proximal glioma how to manage it if there is a nerve gap what procedure must be done if the nerve appears anatomically intact but with a neuroma in continuity what do we do and what is the role of nerve conduits session 7 will be a simulation training for nerve repair which will be a practical module to learn how to suture the cut nerve along with a description of the instruments that are needed for the procedure session 8 will be on distal nerve transfers and vascularized nerve grafting where we will learn about the different available distant nerve transfers and their indications and results and the use of vascularized nerve grafting indications and results session 9 will be on the basic principles and biomechanics of tendon transfers which will deal with the basic principles and the prerequisites that must be fulfilled before planning a tendon transfer and what are the criteria to choose a muscle for transfer after that session we come to the specifics of the nerves Session 10 will be on the radial nerve and the basics like the anatomy the clinical examination and findings in radial nerve injury and discussion on entrapment neuropathy of the radial nerve including the posterior intraosseous nerve syndrome followed by a session on decision making and surgical management of radial nerve injuries where we will discuss problems like when there is a patient with a radial nerve palsy how do we decide on the management protocol should we go ahead with the nerve surgery or should we do a nerve transfer and when should we do it and of course how do we do it if we plan to wait for look for, for signs of recovery how long can we wait and what can we do in the period of waiting and what splints can we prescribe next we go on to the median nerve basics like the specific anatomy clinical examination and findings and discussion on entrapment neuropathy of the median nerve including the carpal tunnel syndrome followed by the important session on decision making and surgical management of median nerve injury like how to decide on the management protocol and should we do a nerve surgery or a tendon transfer and when do we do it if we plan to wait for look for signs of recovery how long can we wait and what are the splints we can prescribe followed by a session on tendon transfers which will be an exclusive session for description of the procedures of tendon transfer for low median nerve palsy and the high median nerve palsy 
After the session on the median nerve, we shall discuss the ulnar nerve and start with the basics where we will discuss, like we did for the other nerves, the specific anatomy of the ulnar nerve, the clinical examination and findings, accurate assessment of the problem and discussion on entrapment neuropathy of the ulnar nerve including the cubital tunnel syndrome. And when the session on basics is over, we will have a session on the decision making and management in ulnar nerve problems like should we do a nerve surgery or should we do a tendon transfer, can we do them together and if we plan to wait to look for signs of recovery, how long can we wait and the details of the ulnar claw correction splint that we will be using in the meantime. Followed up with an exclusive session on tendon transfers for the ulnar nerve injuries which will have a detailed discussion on the static and dynamic procedures and the technical details of the individual surgeries including the post-operative protocols. And finally, a session on a problem that we all face, the complex regional pain syndrome which will deal with making a diagnosis, investigating and confirming the diagnosis and the possible options in the treatment of this condition. Please click on the shown links to see the other videos and sessions on brachial plexus injury and reconstruction, flexor tendon repair and reconstruction and local flaps in reconstruction. And do not forget to subscribe to stay connected with the latest in learning hand surgery.